ALM was introduced for the quality standard, for the reliability standard and for the, uh, the processes which are controlled as per the Indian quality norms. So there was no capacity uh, cap for the ALMM. So ALMM is there so the demand will be there. So ALM is a different standard according to me and it, it is for the quality. Uh, yes, definitely it affects the manufacturing and because there was no ALM in place, uh, there was a huge import and the domestic manufacturer uh, capacity was uti utilized under 50%. Last year we announced our uh, mid-term plan to have a 6 gigawatt of module manufacturing and 5 gigawatt of cell manufacturing. According to our plan, we are on track our capacity will be 4 gigawatt by December so we are going as per the plan we have very good market pan India but uh, predominantly uh, the west part has been always uh, high on uh, deployment of solar panels uh, we see more growth in the southern part of India upcoming in this expo also we have received maximum uh, number of people from southern part of India that is Karnataka, Andhra and Tamil Nadu and Kerala. So this part of India will uh, see the uh, high deployment of solar power. So this will be more demanding. Also at the same time uh, Haryana, Punjab and uh, the Uttarakhand, the northern state of the India will have uh, more uh, demand. A shift of technology is happening rapidly. So we think in next quarter, uh, the top corn will be uh, manufactured in India and it will start shipping in India. By next year, mid, uh, we will have more than 50% of products made in India or globally uh, will be top corn. So SJT is uh, uh, coming at a little slow pace, but SJT will, uh, uh, you know, uh, currently uh, there is a, you know, the efficiency uh, differences between HJT and top cone. HJT's average efficiency is 25%, where we are getting uh, top cone is 24.5. So there is not much gap between, uh, you know, it's a half a percent gap in the terms of efficiency. So top cone is more commercially viable and uh, adoption of top cone from mono park is very easy. Where if you want to adopt HJT in terms of manufacturing, you have to change or you have to invest 80% of new capex. So it is a making a sense for having a top one technology over HJT. So this will make HJT deployment a little slower. See BIPV is uh, mainly dependent on the architects, uh, infra companies and uh, uh, you know the developers, the pro infra developers. Uh, as an industry we are pushing BIPV but the adoption is a very slow. And uh, as per my knowledge, uh, the BIPB will be a slower, slower adoption. So the demand and current demand and increasing demand year by year indicates that there is a uh, there is a demand and there is a room for everyone. The Europe and the US, uh, you know, the manufacturing deployment cannot be at the faster pace. There has been an announcement, but the manufacturing will take a time to come up and time to scale up. Manufacturing is not only deploying the solar cell, wafer or panel. It is a deployment of a complete ecosystem. As an Indian industry, we see that after 10 years, we see some ecosystem has been developed. We have all the raw material manufactured in India. So it took us a 10 years to develop a basic raw material ecosystem and a scalability of uh, uh, solar um, uh, manufacturing value chain. So this replica, if US or Europe ha want to do, it will take a time. So it is a bright chance for Indian manufacturer to export to Europe and the US.